Well, hi. I'm Bob from My Life in 75 Square Feet with a new episode today. And what I want to talk about is van life and having relationships. So I've been thinking about it. I've been all over the United States now. I've met over a thousand people. I meet people everywhere where I go. And I got to say, I met a few women along the way. Maybe I could add a relationship with them, maybe not. And right now, I'm really not at a place where I want to get involved in a relationship. I've seen people living in vans together, man and woman, and it was a surprise to me to see that that would happen when people get to around my age. What I found out in my experience is there's a time when women get involved with men and younger women get involved with men for different reasons than older women get involved with men. When a woman sees a guy like me traveling in a van and if she's looking for security, she's like, this isn't the guy for me. Now I could have a 401k account with $50,000 in it or $500,000 in it. You can't look at me and see that. I could also have a stock portfolio with nothing in it or fifty or $70,000 in it. Still can't see that by looking at me, can you? I could also have a savings account. Oh, maybe my savings account has $1,000. Or maybe it has $100,000. So these are the things that you can't see. Many times what I found, and I'm not trying to to put people in a box but what my experience has seen that many women when they get over their 50s they're looking for security now some women have really good jobs so don't take offense to this please they're looking for a secure partner not somebody that lives in a van that drives aimlessly around the united states or maybe it appears aimlessly and what I've found, and it, it, the, I'm sure there's some exceptions to this rule, I see that when women get a little older, chances are they're wanting to get into a relationship for security or for a partner. And I don't think they're going to want to go into a van and travel across the United States in a van. I'm talking on the whole, because I've talked to quite a few of them, and they said, I can never do what you do. So please don't go beating me up on this because this is what I found in my experience. Your experience might be different. So I've been traveling around in this van and I even thought about it just recently. I was traveling and I said, you know, I wonder if I'll ever get in a relationship before I leave this planet. I don't even know. And to me right now, I'm okay with having friends with women. I'm okay with that. But I, unless I find the exact match, which I don't even know if it exists, I'm probably just going to stay by myself because it's easier to do it. And there may be a time I change my mind because watch this. I could change my mind at any given second. So at any given time, this can happen where I could change my mind. I actually live my life day to day and sometimes minute to minute. I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot today and I don't know what I'm going to do one hour from now. In a way that's good, in a way that's bad. It's nice not to have all these dates where you have to do something by a certain date. I'm living in this van right now. I'm traveling around the United States and I have relationships that I call, they're with friends. I have guy friends, female friends. I hope the females could deal with it because right now I don't want to be in a tied up relationship. Again, that could change in a month. That could change in two months. That could change in a year. I'm not sure. To sum this up and wrap this up, I don't know what's going to happen in my life. I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know how long I'm going to live on this planet. All I can say is for right now, I'm doing what I like to do. 
And that could change in a month or two months too. Initially, I thought I'd live in this van for six months and be done with it. I've been in this van for over 15 months now and I'm still doing fine. I encourage you to comment. Just don't beat me up, okay? Because I'm just telling you what my experience sees. And maybe I'm not seeing it correctly too, so you could kindly nod me in the right direction. I encourage you to subscribe. Click that little bell so you'll get notified of my new videos. And hit that like button. So until next time, I'm signing out.